Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carlos with the Institute of Musical Arts. I'm joined by my student Enzo, and we are working on the country strum. So um, we're going to do a video that will help you practice the country strum after you have learned it and practiced it with muted strings like this. There's another video for that. Uh, it's called Country Strum Practice Video. And what we're going to do now is do one where we're going to use two chords. Very traditional uh, uh, use of these chords in the country music. One of them is the chord of A. And I'm sure you're probably familiar, but all on the second fret, fourth, third, and second string. You can play like this, one, two, three, or two, three, four, if it's more comfortable for you. And the other one is the chord of E, E major, which is second finger on string five, fret two, finger three on string four, fret two, and finger one on string three, fret one. And the way we're going to do it is there's going to be two bass strings that are going to be the primary for each one of these chords. For the chord of A, we're going to use the fifth and the sixth. And we're going to do that twice, five, six, five, six, like this. After we've done that twice, then we go to E. And when we switch to E, the two strings that we're going to use are going to be the sixth and then the fifth. Then one more time, the sixth and the fifth. So if I put these two together, it's going to be like this. Go to E. One, two, and then back to A. So every time I play the two strings that I that I've told you for each chord, it's counted as one. At least that's how I'm going to do it on this video. So if I do on on A, five, six is one, five, six is two, and then we go to E, and then we do six, five, one, six, five, two, and then we go back to A. All we're going to do is do A and then E. A, E, and we'll just do it like that for a while. Okay? Ready? And we're going to do it slow so that you guys can uh, get the feel for it. In the beginning, it's not going to be perfect, but just stick with the video and you'll be able to do it after a, f a little while. Okay? Ready? We're going to start on A. Remember, A is 5, 6, 5, 6, and then we go to E, and we do 6, 5, 6, 5 and then back to A, and so on. One, two, three, four. Two, go to E. Two, now A. Five, six, now E. Six, five, six, Five, five, six, five, six, six, five, six, five to A. Five, six, five, six, now E. Six, five, five, six, five, now A. Five, six, five. Six, six, five, six, five, five, six, five, six, six, five, six, five, five, six, five, six, change, six, five, six. Five, five, six, five, six, six, five, six, five, five, six, five, six, six, five, six, five, five, six, five. Six, six, five, six, five, five, six, 
five, six, six, five, six, five, and six. There we go. Excellent. So if you feel like in the beginning, in the first few times that we repeat it, you're a little bit lost or you, when you change your chord from A to E or vice versa, you get lost, don't worry about it. Pick it up on the next chord, whether it's A or E, and then just get on uh, the train. And then I guarantee you, if you stay and practice with the entire video, and then maybe you play it over again, you will be able to uh, learn it very quickly. And then the rest of it is just going to be a matter of speeding it up with time. I may be posting other videos with higher speeds so that we can get to the point in doing it like this. It's just a matter of mechanics. All right? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have questions, email me.